Have you ever had a really miserable holiday dinner? It's Sissy's Soup. Well, if your family is like mine, you've probably had a few of them. Everybody has such high expectations at the holidays, it's easy to be disappointed. I recall this one Thanksgiving years and years ago that was just awful. The whole thing got off to a bad start when we let Aunt Millie bake the turkey. We knew she couldn't boil water in a tea kettle, but she insisted and Grandma and Mama let her do it. It would be generous to say that Aunt Millie cooked the turkey because it was raw inside. In fact, it was still frozen inside. We couldn't even feed it to the dogs. We were afraid it would kill them. Well, the day before Thanksgiving, Mama was baking her pumpkin pies and she got to play in the piano and she burned them to a crisp. Now my little brother, the one with Down syndrome, pumpkin pie was his favorite. So his Thanksgiving was ruined right there and mama didn't have time or patience to bake more. Besides, she'd made pecan pie too and she thought that would be plenty. It wasn't. On top of that, Bubba, my older brother, brought his new boyfriend to dinner. Bubba was young then, maybe 22, which means I had just graduated from high school. Bubba had moved out to Hollywood, California to follow his star, but he got distracted. He'd never been in a place where there were so many gay people. He got caught up in the club scene out there, and then he found him a boyfriend, a Mexican boy from a well-to-do family. His name was Carlos. Carlos was a mess. Carlos never met anybody. He didn't ask to sleep with him, man or woman. He even made a pass at my mama. So Bubba and Carlos had just moved back to Riverview maybe a week or two before Thanksgiving, and they were staying in Bubba's old room until they got a place. Bubba really wasn't at his best here. Mama asked him where Carlos was going to sleep, and Bubba said, in a snotty kind of way, with me, of course. Now, this was a long time ago. The year Nixon resigned, I think. And gay people weren't out the way they are now. Most everybody figured out what was going on, but nobody talked about it. So all anybody knew was that Bubba had moved back home and brought a friend with him. So here we were at the dinner table, the four of us, Mama, Bubba, me, my little brother, who was already really aggravated, Grandma, my mama's brother Bill, his wife and two kids, Aunt Millie, and of course, Carlos. Daddy wasn't there. He was on a hunting trip like he was almost every Thanksgiving. Now, Carlos, by the way, had been in the U.S. on a study visa, but he dropped out of school, and so, technically, he was illegal. Well, there we were, with no turkey, burned pies, and Carlos, and everybody trying to be pleasant. Well, conversation was slow, Aunt Millie glared at Carlos from time to time. Uncle Bill, who loved a good prank, wanted to liven things up. So all of a sudden he said, real serious, Sally and I are getting a divorce. Sally was his wife, and it was news to her. She looked up from her cranberry relish and burst into tears. Well, Uncle Bill didn't know what to do then, and he just kept saying he was kidding. He tried to explain, but Sally was just wailing. Finally, he got her calmed down. Grandma was ready to kill him. It was awkward. Then, just when we thought it couldn't get any worse, Bubba blurted out, Carlos and I are lovers. 
Well, you could have heard a pin drop in China. It was deathly quiet. It seemed like an hour, but it was probably only about 15 seconds. Well, my family knows exactly what to do when things get awkward. They ignore it. Mama got up and said, who wants dessert? And she headed off to the kitchen. She brought out pecan pie, but for some reason she also brought in one of the burned pumpkin pies, I guess to show everybody what happened. When my little brother saw it, it set him off. He left the table crying and slammed the door to his room. It really was a shame we don't have a whole movie of it. Well, we did get through it, and nobody ever mentioned it again. Of course, Bubba and I have laughed about it all these years. Bubba said it had to go on record as the worst Thanksgiving ever. That was until he started teaching school. See, Bubba taught music in a public school in one of the poorest neighborhoods in Tampa. One year, the Monday after Thanksgiving, Bubba was teaching a fifth grade class, and a boy and girl started saying ugly things to each other under their breath. Bubba couldn't understand what they were saying, but all of a sudden the boy stood up and went after the girl. Bubba got between them and put an end to it, got them calmed down, but the boy kept saying, she said something bad about my mama. She said something bad about my mama. After class, he kept the boy back and he won't talk to him. He said, why are you so upset, honey? And the boy said, she was talking about my mama and my mama got shot on Thanksgiving. Bubba was horrified. He said, I am so sorry. What happened? The boy said, we were sitting at Thanksgiving dinner and my mama and her cousin got in a fight and her cousin pulled out a gun and shot her. Turns out his mama wasn't hurt badly, thank the Lord. They just took her to the emergency room and brought her right home. <laughs> as soon as Bubba got home from school, he called me on the phone and told me the story. From that day on, we realized that although we may have had a few nasty holidays, nobody ever shot anybody at the dinner table. At least not yet. Well, that's all the time I have. And as bad as I hate to, I have to say, it's good to quit talking to you. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.